most of the desert creatures must learn to do without water over long periods. The tortoise is lucky. He manufactures his own, using the special equipment nature has given him. He gathers his raw material early in the season when there's still green foliage available. By internal chemistry, he converts the leaves into clear liquid, which he stores beneath his shell. He's a traveling canteen, able to tide himself over long periods of drought. Another piece of special equipment that makes life a little easier is the skid under the tortoise's chin. It helps him over the rough places. A tortoise must gather his greens while they're available. Yet this poses a problem. For now, it's courting season, too. A nice dilemma. Stay a bachelor at the waterworks or chase after the women and maybe die of thirst? A coy glance from the sidelines soon settles that question. The bashful male begins his courtship as a nodding acquaintance. Then when he gets a bit bolder, the lady, as usual, gives him the runaround. After all, every female wants a choice in the matter. At the proper moment, in the proper tradition, the rival enters. With a sort of ponderous chivalry, the two males square off. Two knights in armor, ready to battle for the lady fair. Uh, but first, they agree on the tournament rules. Andy Skid now becomes the jouster's lance with which he tries to upend his rival. In fact, the Leave him on the table! Jeff Hardy! Don't do it, Jeff! Don't do it! Let's go! For God! I said Tom Bell from the balcony! He'll try anything! Table! That is sick. Curtis and that mare. We love it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh Nunzio. Jeez. to heat prostration, he must right himself immediately or die of sunstroke. The winner, meanwhile, claims the lady fair, totally unconcerned with the plight of his opponent. <laughs> 